Hello friends, we are group number 7 of Principles of Administration Management and we are, discuss we are discussing about how managing system is controlling both private sector and government sector. We visited at NIC branch at Morogoro, which is National Insurance Cooperative. Also in private sector we visited, we visited at UAP Insurance at Morogoro branch. We discussed many things concerning administration management, so you are welcome. Uh, we visited the nation insurance corporation whereby we learned different things as far as uh, the subject is concerned. The following are some of the things that we learned in the corporation of the company. Uh, nation insurance corporation is the government is the government company that deals with insuring and securing different this different object ensuring different objects and properties of people and different companies. Uh, as far as, as as the administration is concerned, there is the management man, managing director of the of the company who deals with controlling all activities of the company. After MD, there is director of finance. Is the one who deal, who deals with the financial issues in the whole organization by assistance of financial accountants and director of human resources who deals with the human resources department. And there is a director of non-life insurance. This is the one who deals with the non-life insurance issues such as buildings, furniture, cars and all things associated with non-life insurance. Also we have financial management of NIC. The financial management is controlled by the financial manager by assistance of chief accountant to control all money transactions and all money issues of the branch. This includes credit, debt, salary, and other expenses like emergency issues, electricity, and others. Concerns about human resource management. Human resource management is under the Department of Human Resource Management. The head of this department is the Director of Human Resource Management. He is responsible for organizing the workers and solving different kinds of problems and issues that arise among the workers, and also to motivate the workers to do their work efficiently. At the first subtopic, then he, after this we have we had to know the planning, communication, management, financial management, management of human resources, the policies, laws and acts how affect the performance of this uh, UAP insurance company. So by starting one after the, the other. But first the organizational management of UAP insurance is, in, it is divided into four levels. The top level Managers is the managing director who is concerned with the forming all the policies concerned with this, with this performance of this insurance company. Also, the middle level managers, most is accompanied and acted upon by the finance manager, business development manager, human resource manager, the head of department of claims, as well as the head of department of underwriting. These are concerned with the interpreting the laws which have been enacted by the top level managers who is a managing director into the lead action so to bring for the performance. Also the low level, we have the workers and the departments who their work is just to act upon the plans that have been established by the middle level managers. These also have mechanical skills based on their careers. The, low, the first level managers are the workers, almost the security managers, 
and also the environmental sanitation managers. These are concerned with just sanitation and ensuring the uh, maintenance of cleanliness within this, uh, this insurance firm. Apart from that, also we saw on the planning and management of this firm. The planning and management starts from the managing director who plans on the who establishes the long-term plans over the whole firm by ensuring that the, the, the by ensuring that the maximum profit which is intended is well achieved at the right time. Also, the middle level managers they just plan the short-range plans which will ensure that the plans that have been established by the top level managers have been established and ensuring that the relationship between the, them and the low managers who are the skilled laborers may, may stick on the plans which have been established. Also, we have the low level managers. These always plan, also they have the, the short plans which aim at sticking on the plans which have been enforced by the middle level managers. Also, in addition, they are first level managers. The first level managers are concerned with enacting on the policies and the guidance which have been provided by the rest of the other top leaders. But uh, apart from this, we also saw on the human source management. With the management of human sources with this one, they are well managed where we were able to see that all of the workers are insured with the all involvement, safe working involvement. Also, whenever there are some discriminations, there are some quarrels, also there are some demands, salaries and whatever. Good staff relation in NIC insurance is managed by socialization in events such as ceremony, funnel, and wedding ceremony. By talking about motivation, motivation in NIC insurance is done by provision of gifts such as motorcycle, laptop, and cash to those sellers and the agents who perform good in selling the product and the service of the insurance of the company. Thanks, Almighty God, to help us to achieve this hard task. But also we provide, we acknowledge the following, management of NIC insurance, management of UAP insurance, for great support, our lecture, Dr. Madaha, and the Department of Agricultural Extension and the Community Development, our, our, our photographer, group member for great contribution to do this hard task to become simple and thank you.